everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two wide receivers will be looking to be number one targets on the field in today's game. It's Bryant's Cowboys going up against Beckham's Giants. On the call here tonight, let's send it out to our guys in the booth. That's Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants. And we say hi again, everybody. Brandon Gordon here as we count down to kickoff. I turn to my partner, that's Charles Davis. And Charles, Larry pointed out in the open, we've got a pretty good matchup of wide receivers here this afternoon, don't we? And those guys have such a big impact on the game nowadays. We know it's a throwing game, but the guys who can go up and get it, the guys who can break tackles after the catch and make bigger plays, oh yeah, they love spotlight as well. They want the football, they want the attention. Dan Bailey now to put the ball in the air, and we are underway from MetLife Stadium. The return man here, Dwayne Harris. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. So let's look at Eli Manning and the New York Giants sitting at 8-3 as we head into Week 13 in the NFL season. And Eli Manning in that win over the Browns last week, Charles, serviceable, 15-27, 194. Did have three touchdown passes. Bottom line, though, they're on a six-game winning streak. And... Think about the collaboration of Eli Manning and Ben McAdoo, who's now the head coach. At first, he's offensive coordinator, and things really got better for Eli Manning under his tutelage, under his direction. And now they continue that as head coach and quarterback, and it continues to get better. And right away, whistles and a flag down. And I believe we'll start the night with a first and 15. Still first down. here back to his own 18 it's a loss of two there bringing up second down Charles let me ask you about this Dallas defense because so much hype obviously and rightfully so about the offense but this defense they've held their own have they not indeed they have and in a lot of cases they've led the charge on defense made plays and let's face it going into the season we thought they might finish last in the league in defense they had a lot of guys suspended they spent a second-round pick on a defender that we all knew was not going to play this season in Jalen Smith. Yet somehow, they fashioned it together, led by Sean Lee, and become a cohesive unit that doesn't worry about who gets the credit and have had guys emerge and make plays that you didn't expect. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Well, that was better than the first go-around when he lost yardage, but still nothing there, and that sets up a third and long. Tough spot here. Put it mildly, sometimes I wonder if some of that old-school football should come back into play. You know what I would think here? Quick kick. Try and change field position. Help out your team. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. So not much to speak of scoring-wise in this first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. This presentation of the NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Snickers. You're off your game when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's the Giants with the football here as we begin quarter number two. They do, however, have a tough third and long coming up. Shane Vereen. And a 
And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. On fourth down, the Giants call on Brad Wing to punt it away. Lucky Whitehead back deep for Dallas. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. here on first down he's got time in the pocket and Bryant's got it over the middle so a good spin move there before he's taken down a nice little game now hold everything here we're going to get a timeout by the offense so that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime Play faked to Elliott. Now Prescott. And he hits Jason Witten, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Holding defense. And after a nice game, they don't need the penalty. They'll decline it, take the ball where the play resulted. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. A first down throw for Prescott. And this one complete to Witten over the middle. And they're able to get this one down to the 25. 23 yards on the play. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? and 10 Prescott that is caught right at the 10 yard line that one good for 17 yards and now they've got it first and goal partner it was quite the battle Washington and Dallas watching Dez go against Josh Norman Dez finished with five catches 72 yards but a little jawing going back and forth tell the truth when you were watching the game you started watching the game within the game didn't you oh yeah absolutely you, you, you kept your eyes on 88 of Dallas and 24 of Washington and watch what they were doing on each and every snap. And boy, what a battle it was. An absolute fierce one. Dez's team ends up getting the victory. And Bailey able to knock it through. 
So we've reached halftime. All we have to show for the first half, a lone field goal. 3-0 our score. As we send you now to Orlando and our Tiburon Studios, where Larry Ridley is standing by with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Thanks, Brandon. And welcome to the EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Giants are on the bad end of things at home. We'll have two quarters to turn it around. The Cowboys came in prepared for this game, and it shows in the way they played. All right, let's roll those highlights. So that'll do it for us at the EA Sports Studio. We're going back under the lights for the second half of this Sunday night matchup. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And last year, that would have been a net gain of five on the return. This year, he stopped where he would have been if he had taken a knee, and that's at the 25. And now here come the Cowboys. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Second down, offense behind the sticks here. Second and 13. Four down, four down. Check. Four down, four down. Come on, let's go. Brad, 38. Hey. Another carry for the rookie, Elliott. And a short game. And now the Giants, they get the official's attention and take another timeout. And that's going to leave them with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. We'll be back. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Offense needs 11, have to think pass here on third down. Here we go. One, nine. One, nine. On third down, it's Prescott going right side. He has Witten, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. So, boy, that's already the third they burn here. They are out of timeouts now before we've even hit the fourth quarter. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. 
as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? <laughs> and I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out if that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. See if they can get the ladder 50%. Now it's Jennings. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Jennings. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Fresh set of downs here. He'll look to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. And now a first down following that long game. They'll look to throw. Drops it off in the flat to Jennings. No gain, and it's second down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. And the spike comes now with just under 40 ticks left. So still a full 10 yards to go here for the offense on third down. Back to throw. He gets this one to Dwayne Harris. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. And they're going to speed things up here. So there's the spike as it comes with 23 seconds to go. looking to avoid a third and long at second and ten. He's back to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and they're going to have a third down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. And he'll stop the clock with five seconds to go there on the spike. Three, 
NFL teams last year, a little under 50% on fourth down conversions. This is a bit tougher. Fourth and four. One final try now for Manning. Pass. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Barry Church. And that is going to seal this victory as time runs out. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here. Coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it. And they came up with the interception and sealed their victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL.